Hello world, Geriatric Geek here. How in the heck are you? I hope you're doing great. It's going to be another beautiful day here in North Las Vegas if you're indoors. It's going to be about, oh, let's say 105 today. So, uh, yeah, it's going to be very, very warm. Sorry, I'm trying to uh, figure out how I work my phone. <laughs> Today's July the 28th, 2020. Thanks for joining me. As you can see, this is Dollar Tree number two. Dollar Tree Hall number two for the old geek. Uh, truth be told, you know, I went to four different ones and none of them had them on the same day. The first one had, had on one day, next one on the next day. So four, over four days, uh, you saw my other video. So that was the first two days and the last two days are sitting here right beside me. So. Let's get into this. Let's show you what the old geek found and, uh, yeah, have some fun, you know? So I hope you're doing fine. I hope everybody's staying safe. Unfortunately, uh, my hair is still very long. I apologize, but I will make it to the barber eventually because that's what my wife wants me to do eventually. Anyway, hey, here we go. Let's get into this. First up, some roads aren't meant to be taken. What lies ahead? Rumor Willis and Emma Dupont. Rumor Willis and Emma Dupont. R rated 88 minutes, 2019. It's a thriller. Of course, old Rumor Willis is the uh, daughter of Demi, Demi and Bruce Willis. This, uh, Movie doesn't get great reviews, but uh, you know, thought I'd check it out. If you guys have seen any of these, by the way, that I haven't, let me know down below what you thought of them. So, there you go. Rumor Willis action. Next up, you never know who is watching. Creepy remote viewing. This is an Echo Bridge, 90 minutes long, non rated. 2018 horror mystery does not get great reviews again uh, I have checked out the reviews but uh, you know I'm gonna check it out for a buck why not I'm, it looks interesting and it's got two bonus movies on there the veil and phantom from space a son and his friends pack up in search of treasure that his father saw through a series of drawings that he created through a psychic practice of remote viewing Though they believe the treasure is waiting at the end, the frightening truth is that the sketches suggest danger is in store for their group before they can claim the hidden money. There you go. Should check out the back. There's the... So Echo Bridge, they were big on this uh, Dollar Tree drop, right? I mean, I, I say 60, 65% of all these movies were Echo Bridge. Including this one. That's right. Sleeping Dogs Lie. Echo Bridge, 74 minutes, not rated. It's a drama, drama thriller. Having just walked in on her husband and his secretary, in a comp compromising moment, a betrayed wife decides to take matters in her own hands. Hell-bent on exacting her revenge, she kidnaps them both and holds them hostage in the desert. <laughs> I love revenge films. I don't know why. But they're fun. I've not seen this one. So let me know down below if you have. The man himself, Chuck Norris. 15 action movies. This is Echo Bridge release also. This was released in 2018. Uh, the three top, let's see, The President's Man, The President's Man 2 probably. Sorry, my the, can't see through the stickers. I haven't taken my stickers off yet. There you go. Look at all them movies. These here, I don't think have Chuck Norris in them. Steven Seagal and Billy D. Williams, Richard Pryor are in some of them. Bruce Lee. Little little action collection. Who doesn't like Chuck Norris? Let me know. 
And we got this for this. I bought this because I already had. I have this already, and I've watched a few things on it. It's pretty good. It's called Twenty Tales of Terror. Four discs over twenty six hours. That's an Echo Bridge release. Also, they released this in two thousand sixteen. Yeah, two thousand sixteen. I'll let you see the back. Carnival of Souls. That's a pretty good one. I've seen that one. Chamber of Horrors, The Last Man on Earth, White Zombie. Not seen that. I've seen The Bat. That's pretty good. It's Vincent Price, Ring of Terror, The Ghost, Night of the Living Dead. Of course, I've seen that. Snake People, The Devil's Hand, Don't Look in the Basement. I've seen that. House on Haunted Hill. I've seen that. There's a lot of good stuff in here. A lot of good movies in the 20 Tales of Terror. Next up, we got a Wesley Snipes, something called The Recall. It's an Echo Bridge. R-rated, 91 minutes, 2017. Action horror. You'll be left reeling from the hell-raising, terror-inducing close encounters of The Recall. It's a sci-fi thriller. Follow as the mysterious hunter, Wesley Snipes, a skilled survivalist, warns a group of friends about an imminent alien invasion. They don't believe the crazed eccentric hunter at first, but he explains that not only has the invasion been prophesied for years, but that it is part of a larger group of mass abductions by the aliens. Looks interesting. I like anything aliens. I do like my alien movies. Complete second season of a BBC offering torch word, torch wood. Second season, BBC sci-fi. This is, speaking of aliens, alien fighting team, evidently. Outside the government, beyond the police, fighting for the future on behalf of the human race, the 21st century is when everything changes and torch wood is ready. Never heard of this one, guys. Let me know down below if it's any good. I really need to get the uh, first season now, don't I? This has got such a nice slippy dippy on it. This is, uh, look at that. Killer. With, Killers Within, not rated, 2018, 99 minutes long. And it's a thriller. I haven't uh, seen it. With her son being held captive by a criminal gang, police officer Amanda Doyle, together with her ex husband and three unlikely, unlikely allies, take part in a desperate plot to hold a wealthy banker and his family to ransom. This is no ordinary family, and as the story unfolds, it becomes a clear that the hunters have become the hunted. It's a fight for survival, and it's kill or be killed. It's the name of the game, isn't it? But this, oh, this, I've got to show you. This is um, raised. See that? Oh, yeah, you can really see it right there. Nice slippy dippy, as P Mac would say. And we got another one of these Robert and the Toy Maker. Robert and the Toy Maker. Not rated, 87 minutes long, 2017. This thing gets terrible reviews. Mm -hmm. I have not seen this one, but uh, I'll, I'll finish it up. I've seen uh, the first couple. Yeah, you know, they're all right. They're not great. Chair comes in all sizes. Let me know if you like that one. If you've seen it. Speaking of tough characters, we got Bronson. Triple feature. Death Wish 2, Death Wish 3, and Death Wish 4. Pretty cool. 20th Century Fox. She's put out in. Uh, is that long ago? No, 2014 they put this out. There you go. You like Charles Bronson? Let me know. I like Charles Bronson. Hey, hey, it's The Boat, and not Das Boat. It's The Boat. Not rated. 100 minutes, 2018. A solo sailor finds himself locked inside the head of a sailboat, which is an auto, it was on autopilot. Where is the boat headed? Why is it taking him? And will he survive? Hmm.
the boat. My man, Keanu Reeves, when he was very young, Brotherhood of Justice. Echo Bridge, 93 minutes, TV movie, crime drama. I think these guys, like, join together and become a uh, vigilante group in high school or something. Yeah. And seven bonus movies. <laughs> seven bonus movies. I wonder if anyone ever watches those bonus movies. You guys watch the bonus movies? Good movie. Good movie. <clears throat> All right. Excuse me. Get a little drink. Next up, I'm not a big Western fan, but when you get 70 classics over 29 hours, you do it. Echo Bridge. Not... <laughs> 1,784 minutes, not rated. 2014, they released this as the Lone Ranger, Legends of the Old West, U.S. Marshal, Shotgun Slade, and the Cisco Kid. I think I remember watching the Cisco Kid. I'm going to check out those, those main ones. I like black and white stuff, you know. Just turn off your brain and enjoy. Hello. Whatever that was. All right, we got a martial arts film, double feature, I should say. It looks like it came from Walmart at one point. Ninja and Ninja 2. Ninja and Ninja 2. It's an Echo Bridge release from 2018. Never heard of it, but I do like some good martial arts style stuff. There you go. Buck, I'll take it. Uh, I got this for the grandkids. Adventures at the Chocolate Factory. I know nothing about this, never even heard of it. But it's an Echo Bridge release, not rated, 90 minutes long. Um, this movie has a, let me show you the back. This is also known as Papa Mole, Mall, M-O-L-L. It's a Swiss, Swiss film, family flick. When their mom goes away for the weekend, the kids are left home with dad, who plans a family trip to the circus. Plans fall apart when dad gets called in to work overtime at the chocolate factory to stop a chocolate explosion. Meanwhile, the kids are left unsupervised and mayhem ensues when they get into a feud with the nasty kids next door. Echo Bridge. You guys know anything about that? Let me know. I want to see. We'll see if my grandkids like it. May, may not. Who knows? Revenge is worth dying for. Okay. There you go. High voltage. Another Echo Bridge. Ninety-one minutes. Not rated. Two thousand and eighteen. Sounds interesting. This chick gets uh, hit with lightning, and she develops. Special powers is what I'm reading. So, uh, looks like a fun time. Probably going to watch this one fairly soon. It does have a digital copy also. We shall see. It's probably the, the disc digital copy, though. Madagascar, Escape to Africa. Yay! This is, of course, a sequel. Ben Stiller and Chris Rock, PG, 89 minutes long from 2008. I remember we watched this and I thought it was pretty good. So I got it, put it in the collection for the grandkids just in case they may want to watch. Madagascar Escape to Africa. I don't know why I got this, but someone in my family will enjoy it, I'm sure. Not me. Is that Monster High Electrified. Not rated 72 minutes from 2017. Nothing about this group, but they had a few of them, so I picked them up. 
for the grandkids for a buck. Can't go wrong. Now this one really interests me. I, I don't know anything about it, but it just looked interesting. Dave made a maze. Dave made a maze. The 2017 not rated 81 minutes adventure comedy. I watched the trailer just for kicks and it looked really fun. This dude creates this thing in his house and you walk in it and it becomes just another world, you know. Looks pretty cool. If you guys have seen it, is it any good? Let me know. Dave made a maze. Next up, Dead Bullet, a slow sizzle, a mental and physical duel. I like mental duels. 90 minutes, not rated, 2016, crime thriller. Looks like a Vegas movie. It looks like it took place in Vegas, so I'm interested. I love all, I'm trying to, my collection is kind of strange. I, I like little different offshoots of things, but I also, I try to get anything that has to do with or mentions Vegas, so there it is. Nothing about Dead Bullet, but I will give it a watch. A couple of my favorite Jim Carrey films. The Ace Ventura Collection. PG-13. Pet Detective 1994. PG-13. Great movie. When Nature Calls, 1995. Not even better, I think. I think uh, When Nature Calls is even better than Pet Detective. Just me. Let me know down below what you think. But I did not have this, so well, I am glad to have it. Entertaining thriller, one of the most explosive films of the season. The life he touched was marked forever. Una, R-rated 94 minutes, 2017. Re reviews were good. It's a romantic drama kind of thing, I guess, character piece. Evidently it's not uplifting. This chick has a, an affair with an older dude when she's a youngster, and how that plays out, I guess, is what's going on there. There you go. Una. Well, nothing about that. R-rated. One of my, I don't know, I liked the, all of these kind of, the coach. Not the coach. Coach, season two, not rated, eight hours, 1980. This was on 1989. My kids and I used to enjoy watching the coach. I quit saying the, Bill. Coach. Geriatric geek. Coach. There you go. Um, Craig T. Nelson, Hayden Fox. Actually, this was filmed, I don't know if you guys know, this little trivia from the old geriatric geek. This was filmed, yes, in the Citrus Bowl in Florida. All right. Um, this one, I thought, oh, geez, I don't have that. Chavez. With the man, Danny Trejo. This is an Echo Bridge release. Where's the back? I love my Danny Trejo, you know that. Hector Chavez is a man whose life is hanging by a thread, struggling to take care of his wife and sick child, and with no options for money, he is forced to take part in one of the things he truly knows, the fight game, determined to make a better life for his family. Chavez takes an underground fight which is streamed online to the world. His victory goes viral. There you go. R-rated. Danny Trejo. I like him. I don't know why I got this, but what the heck. A hooked up comedy. The dating guy. Season one. It was a season one. That's why. But I've never heard of this. If you've heard of it, let me know down below. Is it any good? 
I know nothing about it. Just the dating guy, hilarious cocktail of all new comedy about dating, sex, and friendship with a twist. Hmm. Interesting. Nothing about it. Richard Dreyfus in Astronaut. Astronaut. Retired civil engineer Angus Stewart, Richard Dreyfus, has been recently widowed and suffering from a heart condition. His family decides to move him to a retirement community against his will, but Angus still has one dream left, to go to space. So he wins this lottery, I guess. He lies and gets to go, I guess. I don't know anything about it. Net seen it. Echo Bridge. 97 minutes long. And hey, a little bit more of the sharks. Who doesn't like sharks? Mega, mega shark, eight movie collection. More sharks, the better. <laughs> Toxic shark, shark in Venice, <laughs> Malibu, Malibu shark attack, shark man, shark zone, shark attack three, megalodon, shark attack two, and shark attack. Got the whole shark attack there. Series. You guys like shark movies? Let me know. Let me know. Do you like shark movies? And hey, what the heck? For a buck? Two games? Two Xbox, Xbox One games for a buck? Madden 17 and Titanfall 2. These are going to a group home I know. All right, we're getting down to the last here, you guys. That's cool. Another one of those mount, monster high things called the Great Scarier Reef. 2016, 72 minutes long, and it's not rated. I know nothing about this guy. It does have a digital code in it. Maybe my grandkids will like it. We'll see. Maybe. Who, I don't even know if they know anything about this monster. Monster High. I know there's lots of toys and stuff in Walmart, you know, for that movie. Blood and Glory, the Civil War in color. The war was never just black and white. Experience the Civil War for the first time in real life color. Okay, and there's a digital code also. Four-part documentary from 2015. It's on the History Channel, 168 minutes Blood and Glory, the Civil War was in color, brings one of the most defining periods in American history to life in this highly acclaimed four-part documentary series. Using state-of-the-art technology with unprecedented access to government and private archives, over 600 rare and compelling black and white photographs. We'll see. See if I get to that one. It looked interesting. Uh, okay, Run for the High Country. Run for the High Country. Echo Bridge. Not rated, 85 minutes, 2018. And it looks good to me, amazing enough. It's about this little uh, Indian kid and dude get together and try and work things out. Life, trying to work life out. I've seen it. Don't know anything about it. Next up, eight acclaimed films. Jekyll and Hyde, The Leading Man, Love and Rage, The Serpent's Kiss, The Old Curiosity Shop, David Copperfield, Scrooge, and Oliver Twist, British Cinema Collection. British Cinema Collection, Echo Bridge from 2015. 2,085 minutes worth of goodness on this. Jekyll and Hyde, I'm going to watch that one, so. There you go. Some British stuff. Lots of British stuff. Probably the worst movie that I picked up, I'm, in my opinion. Spy. R-rated 2015, 120 minutes. It's got a digital code. 
I have to say, I've watched this movie and I didn't like it. Melissa McCarthy is just like overdone, isn't she? Maybe you guys like it. Let me know. Let me know if you like that one. But how's the digital code? I'll check it out. Now, a movie I did have or do have, so I got this for a family member. Don't Knock Twice, R-rated, 2017, 93 minutes, creepy, and I like it. Baby, the the uh, yeah, baby, the demon's name is Baba Yaga in this movie. Katie Sackoff and Lucy Boynton. Pray she doesn't answer. Pretty good movie. If you haven't seen it, this is a, rec a good recommendation. It gets a good recommendation. One I have not seen, but looked interesting based on true events. The Guard of Auschwitz. Auschwitz. Echo Bridge, not rated. 90 minutes, 2018. It's a drama. It gets terrible reviews, but uh, looked interesting. You get to look at the Holocaust through the eyes of a one of the Hitler youth. Interesting perspective, I'm sure. Next up, that disc is loose. The Iceman, loving husband, devoted father, ruthless killer. I like it. Echo Bridge, 2018, R rated, 105 minutes. Got James Franco, Ray Liotta, Chris Evans, Michael Shannon, and Winona Ryder. Double life. Cold hearted, cold blooded hitman, and another is a loving family man. They force him to work as a with a psychopath. <laughs> hey, looks fun, right? <laughs> You've seen this one, let me know. Is it any good? That's good. Looks like it might be good. And we got a little Steven Seagal action. Attrition. Echo Bridge, R rated, 85 minutes, 2018. That's an action film, of course. Um, I do have this already, so I picked this up for uh, uh, one of my buddies. And Outrage. Last and not least, Outrage, a Takeshi, Take, Takeshi Katano film. Outrage, R-rated 109 minutes from 2012. In a battle for power, several Yakuza clans vie for the favor of their head family in the Japanese underworld. I kind of enjoy those kind of movies. There you go. Wow. Wow, guys. What do you think? I thought that was pretty cool, huh? Um... You know what? There's more over here, I think. Yeah. Picked up a couple others that I've forgotten about. The Office, the complete second series from BBC. The BBC Office. I have not watched any of these, I have to be honest. Let me know if you've seen any of the BBC's The Office. Looks interesting. The Killing House. The game begins now. Echo Bridge. By a weird twist of fate, three near strangers end up in prison in a mansion and thrown into a game that none of them wanted to play. They must keep killing each other until the winner has amassed enough kills to leave the grounds of the house. And two bonus movies. Headhunter and Curtains. It's Curtains for you. All right. And the last one. This one really is the last one. Tom and Jerry Spy Quest original movie. My grandkids love these old school uh, comics or com animated movies. They love them. And who doesn't like Tom and Jerry? So there you go. That's all from Dollar Tree, you guys. Um, I had a good time this round. I really did. I'm not going out anymore in case someone forces me to go. <laughs> but anyway, hey, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe.
trying to trying to get way up there guys trying to get as many subscribers as we can so I can share my love for movies and collectibles and collecting with you guys I enjoy that so hey you guys keep smiling keep having fun um, I got a whole stack let me show you look at this a whole stack of physical media to give away to you guys for watching that's right I'm gonna give away movies until you know until hell freezes over might not be long <laughs> anyway. one other thing I wanted to share with you I thought was pretty cool this just came out today only one of the tiniest black series the Mandalorian the child look at that little guy just picked this up from Walmart this morning I think it's nine dollars and something but it is part of the black series and I do collect black series got them all anyway hey again thanks for watching you guys keep smiling keep watching I'm gonna give away a whole bunch of goodies um, tomorrow Wednesday is the day I'm going to give away the Sony Sony PlayStation that's right got the 20 preloaded things this is gonna go go to my subscribers one of my subscribers is gonna win that it's never been open never been played nothing so that being said you guys thank you until next time, peace.